Welcome to the homestead. When you are living a more self-sufficient lifestyle, you need to learn how to do a lot of things yourselves. And one of those is car maintenance and repair. Sometimes things that seem like a simple job are a little bit more involved, especially on modern vehicles. Even though this vehicle is 15 years old, changing the headlight is kind of a challenge. But we're gonna go through it step-by-step step for you and hopefully make it simpler and faster for you. Let's get going. So to change the headlight in this, you essentially have to take off part of the bumper to get to the headlight housing and then to get to the bulb that's on the backside of the headlight housing. And today we're gonna to be replacing our low beam that's on top. The high beam was fine on this side and it takes an H11 bulb. Make sure when you're working with halogen bulbs, you use gloves because the oils from your hands and your fingers can ruin the bulb. First thing we need to do is take off this interior shroud with this weather stripping. And you can do that by twisting these connectors here, and there are six of them. One, two, three, and then the same on the other side. Just unscrew them, and then they should pop right out. Once you get all those connectors out, you're just gonna lift up the shroud and fold it back. Next thing we need to do is get the front of the bumper and grill loosened. You're gonna do that in two spots. One is this pry up clip here. You can just take two flathead screwdrivers and kind of wiggle it in each depressed area on the side. That will pop up. And then you can get under the main piece and pry that up as well. Should come right out. Second one is this 10 millimeter bolt right here. There are three of them. This one holds on the bracket for the radiator. This one holds on the grill. This one holds on the hood latch right there. So it's the middle one for the grill that you need to take out. The first bolt that holds on the headlight assembly is up here on the top, so you can do that first. The other two bolts are buried behind the bumper, so that's why we have to take it off. To get to the other bolt, you need to take this wheel well shroud off. It's good to turn your wheel in from the front so you can access these clips. There's two clips here at the top, and then there's one clip here on the bottom for a 2008. Just pry them off with the screwdrivers like I showed you before. Once we have those clips loose, we are going to pull back this wheel well shroud here, and our bolt is right up under the corner right here. Kind of hard to hold it at the same time, so you might want to put like a little scrap piece of two by material in there to keep it held apart while you thread this up to get the bolt. And there it is. Now we can pull our bumper away from here. And that will also give us the ability to pull our bumper away from the front, like that. And when you pull this forward, that will expose this nut all the way down here by my finger. And that holds on the bottom of the headlight housing. For this step, if you don't have a power ratchet that can get down in there and really get it off, you're probably going to need a swivel like this for your 10 millimeter. It's just gonna make it a lot easier. Be careful when you're taking it off because you don't wanna lose it down into that plastic shroud down below. Okay, the third and last bolt holding this housing on is down inside next to it right here. So you have to pull back on your grill a little bit and it's right down inside. Let me show you. It's right down right there. This one is probably the most challenging if you're not going to take the entire bumper off. If you're doing both headlights, then it might be best to take the entire front bumper completely off. Now we can pull this entire housing gently and not scratch the paint, but this entire housing straight out the front. Just like that. Once you have your housing out, the top one is a low beam and the low one is the high beam. We're gonna just rotate it around 
to the back. And this piece right here, you need to take off. Now these are seven millimeter. I don't have a millimeter uh, socket that small. So in nine thirty seconds, we'll work just fine. And here's our bulb right here. We're just gonna turn it counterclockwise and pull it straight out, just like that. It's got two little clips on the side of this one. We're just gonna pop those off. So we've got our new bulb, we've got our gloves on. I'm just gonna connect it back in there, twist it counterclockwise back into the little port that it goes into, put the backing back on, and we're gonna put the headlight housing back in. Make sure you test your lights before you put everything back together just to be safe. Now we can get this housing back in and everything buttoned up in reverse order than we did before. We should be good to go. Let's get everything back into place. Like I said, it's just reverse order. Careful your paint, pull things out and just be gentle when you slide them back in. We'll put this top bolt in first to hold it in place. Now we can get that nut on and the other bolt in. This is probably the most challenging one because you have to keep this front fairing or bumper, whatever, uh, pushed in so the holes align. Get your hand behind it and thread this up, find the hole, and get it in there. Okay, we're gonna pull down this fairing with the weather stripping and just set it right back into place and use our twist-in clips to secure it. Wish they use these twist-in clips everywhere. These things are way better. Much easier to manipulate than those snap clips. Well, there it is. That is how you replace a headlight bulb in a 2008 Cadillac CTS. It's not terribly hard, it's just labor intensive and there's a lot of little parts to take off to get to that bulb. This was good information for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and give us a like, it really helps us out. And friends, if you have a self-sufficient mindset and you are not out of the city yet, I highly recommend you moving out to a country homestead where you can provide for your family. You can grow your own food, you can produce your own energy, so on and so forth. It's really a blessing and in the times that are coming up, I think it's gonna be really important. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me in the comments section below the video. Now go check out these videos right here, which talk about basic mechanical repair and maintenance on a homestead. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.